Well, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. Now, uh, sorry about the sniff, I've got a bit of a cough. Um, I, uh, you probably noticed that uh, with this power supply, my, my uh, HF amplifier power supply, I've been slowly winding the volts up and down uh, with a Variac. Now, because I don't want to use a Variac um, on, the, uh, on the finished amplifier, all I want is a switch on the front, and I'll press, press the switch, and the HT will come on. So uh, I need a soft start circuit for my HT. So uh, I've uh, fortunately I found a couple of uh, couple of resistors kicking around that weren't doing anything. They're, uh, I'll show you them in a second. But first of all, I'm just going to switch it on, no variac, and you'll see the high volts come up. And if you listen carefully, you'll hear no nasty noises. There's no wonk. There's nothing creaking at the seams. Uh, it all comes on. It's all very nice. Doesn't uh, doesn't make any noise at all, and the um, the soft start resistors uh, are as uh, cool as a cucumber, to use a uh, an old English saying. Okay, I'm just going to flip the switch. And there we go. As you can see, that HT voltage is a little lower than it has been. It's probably about 2,000, what's that saying, 2,600. It's about 2,700 volts instead of the 2,900 volts we've been seeing over the last uh, day or two or the last couple of videos while I've been mucking around with it. And the reason for that is, let's move these, this across a bit here. The reason for that is, here is my lashed up soft start circuit. There we go. So we've got uh, a couple of uh, a couple of uh, fairly large resistors here doing the soft starting. But what I don't have yet is a relay to short them out. So it soft starts, comes up to about 2,700 volts, doesn't go to full HT because at the moment there's nothing shorting these two resistors out. And uh, I'll just show you what I've got in mind. I'll turn that off. Um, these things uh, they don't even get slightly warm. They're 3.3 ohm, 100 watt resistors, um, and they seem absolutely perfect for the job. I was originally going to use the a DC soft start circuit, but I've changed my mind. I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. So, uh, oh, pardon me. I'll uh, just just show you quickly what the circuit diagram will be. Uh, as you can see, I haven't uh, I haven't changed the HT board yet. I'll do that. Um, I've ordered some uh, bits and pieces for that on me today, so uh, that's probably going to be something for the weekend. But I, I fully expect that HT board uh, to be finished this weekend, and the soft start to be finished. Um, so that's pretty much the power supply uh, finished. So I should be able to bolt the HT board into the amplifier case and uh, start thinking about making the front and rear panels so I can, uh, I can mount some meters. You can probably see that, um, that voltage there. It's going, down. it's going down quite slowly. It's still showing about, what, what's that, two, four? It's still showing about 600 volts on there, but um, that's bleeding away reasonably, uh, uh, reasonably well. Um, so I'll just go back to the HT transformer and you'll see I've got that uh, excellent, excellent insulating material. Uh, a, uh, a paperback by Gregory Van Dyke. It seems to work a treat. Now if I used uh, a paperback by somebody else it might have burst into flames of course. Um, right, uh, it looks a bit of a bird's nest but it's just a lash up just to see if it would, uh, if it would work comfortably and uh, it does. Right. So, if I uh, get this round here to the board, that's the B-O-R-E-D, there we go, Let's just get that, always pan the wrong way, it's a bit like the lotto tickets, you know, I always, I think I'm always standing in the queue behind the person that buys the one that wins. Funnily enough, last week, or was it the week before, with a big one, 40 or 50 million or whatever it was, I actually bought a top-up ticket from that shop. Good grief, eh? Separated from 50 million dollars by time. Okay. Alright, so how that's, how that's wired at the moment, 
I'll just do a bit of a doodle and I'll see how it looks. Uh, what I've got at the moment, and I hope the focus remains reasonably well, got the mains coming in like that, and got two 3.3 ohm resistors. like that. Mm. I think that focus might be going a little bit iffy when I'm putting my arm in the shot. Is there anything I can do about that? Uh, I don't know. I'll try getting a bit lower. Okay so and that goes across to my HT transformer primary winding which is the 240 volt winding and there is my high volt winding there like that so that's what I've got at the moment so I turn it on and um, there's no problem with that at all just loves it don't need the variac flick the switch fires up so what I need is a relay contact across each resistor like that so that once this inrush current has disappeared this voltage will come back to 240 volts across that winding uh, and energize a relay uh, with 30 amp contacts or just short those two resistors out so if I put a relay coil there an AC relay like that because this high voltage transformer primary winding will look like a nail to the, uh, to the AC when it first comes on, so I flick the switch, the voltage on this side of the resistors will be you know, very, very low um, as, the, uh, um, as the transformer, uh, as the inrush current for the transformer when you first turn it on will be quite high and as it decreases this voltage will come up and come up and come up and come up and uh, the relay I'm going to use will pick at 192 volts so as soon as that voltage there reaches 192 volts it will short these two resistors out with those two 30 amp contacts and then my HT will be the full 2900 volts uh, as opposed to the 2700 which it is at the moment um, now this is a um, I think it's a 4.7 k ohm uh, coil as I say, this looks like a nail. So, just for a few milliseconds, remember milliseconds are an age in electronics. Uh, that will be that will short the AC out effectively across that coil. And uh, as that voltage there, as that inrush current decreases, this voltage will rise. This relay will pick, then it will short those out. And that is the simplest uh, soft start circuit that uh, I can think of. Certainly so far it looks good. What I've got to do, I'll get a relay tomorrow probably, stick that in there and just see if that works. So that's, uh, that's what I've got in mind. So uh, as usual, I hope you found that interesting. And uh, oh, that's not very big, is it? Let's have a look at that. There we go. Hope you found that interesting. And uh, if I uh, if I don't sit, do something stupid and burst into flames, I'll uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.